What was once the Polk County Courthouse now serves as the Polk County History Center and houses the Historical Museum and Library. The museum serves Polk's community through special events, volunteer opportunities, and educational programs. More details are coming up next on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Tina Mann, and joining me in the studio today is Marnus Young, the Historic Preservation Manager at the Polk County History Center. Hi, Tina. Happy 2021. Happy 2021. We are finally here, and you guys have decided after 2020 to make this year all about fun. So you're changing things up a little bit. So starting in January, tell me about your programming. We are so fortunate to have learned some things from this past year, the opportunity that came about through um, separation during the pandemic. So we are gonna be offering our programs in both on-site capabilities as well as um, virtual opportunities. So we have created a new schedule for all of our programming. Everything is gonna be um, on Saturday. So we have a program that we're calling Zoom and Vroom, Vroom Vroom. So you can zoom in and learn about the wonderful um, heritage of Polk County. And then we're gonna send you out around the county to actually engage in the history of the county through some activities and images and some um, sites. And some, some of them are specific to a portion of our history. Some are specific to a building, a site, or um, markers or monuments. So Zoom and Vroom is our new format that is taking the place of our lunch and learn. We also will continue the architectural tour. Then we also will have the Oak Hill Cemetery tour. Everything on Saturday. Everything on Saturday. And that includes the genealogy series as well. That's gonna be the last Saturdays of most months, not all, but. Correct. Mm -hmm. So this is really exciting. I mean, you guys are offering some really exciting stuff in a new format. It'll give people more opportunities to attend. You guys worked really, really hard over the last, I mean, as long as I've been here, six years on the Heritage Trail, mm -hmm. and you're gonna be featuring things from there and getting people outside and, and continuing the theme of 2020 where you're spending more time with your family. You're spending mm -hmm. more time learning and exploring, and that's, that's what good came out of 2020. That is correct. It's We realized early on um, during the period of time that we were social distancing, when we were um, telecommuting, we learned that people were still looking for opportunities to have a, engage with the community, engage with our cultural past. And we, like you said, we really have worked on ways to create opportunities for people to travel around. Um, I just, I really think this is so um, funny that our, um, we, we talk about the, um, our little families getting together and getting in their cars and going out and visiting things. So um, it's gonna be a great tour. Excellent. Well, let's talk just a little bit more about that Zoom and Room. So what site is going to be featured first? Great question, it's gonna be really fun. The quarantines, as Jamie Jameson has called them, will have an opportunity all through January to really engage with the Citrus Crate Label Tour. So it's gonna be about the history of citrus in the county, and the program will be a historical background about history, um, the history of marketing fresh fruit. As we, you know, put that fresh fruit on the tables and send it to northern markets, and then also an opportunity to travel around the county with your family to find those sites where we have those citrus crate labels in place, and um, learn primarily. It's along the. Um, Highway 27 corridor, places that might be of real interest about citrus and something about our citrus history. So that's January, all about citrus and citrus history. That's excellent. And I didn't mention, and of course, that's going to be Saturday, January 9th. Correct. And the Zoom is going to be at 11 a.m. And what's Correct. unique this year is we're actually going to make this available for families all month long. Mm -hmm. So if you aren't able to attend that initial Zoom presentation, you're going to be able to see it mm -hmm. either on Facebook or YouTube or whatever format they put it in. And then you can ask questions and they'll be monitoring it to answer them, things like that. So it's, it's 
I mean, literally, they can do any of these programs any month of the year. That's correct. Um, they, it's it's really nice for us because we'll be we'll just be collecting these, and if anybody comes to, if you have family visiting from outside the area and they're interested in a particular heritage subject topic, we can pull that out of our little tool kit and send you on your way to go vroom vrooming. Vroom vrooming all around the county. We've got a really vast county and a lot of really cool things, so I think that's fantastic. So, also available as a cemetery tour. Had a note hadn't mentioned it yet because it kind of actually goes along with our genealogy series for this month. It does. So that's going to be January 2nd. Tell us just a little bit about that. You know, we are, the, the Oak Hill Cemetery Tour is just such a wonderful way to engage in the history of the county by learning about these pioneer families who came here and they, you know, endured amazing obstacles. They had to overcome a lot of obstacles, including pandemics and, you know, the natural environment. We had mosquitoes and, you know, they really had to overcome a lot. And it's just interesting to walk through Oak Hill Cemetery and learn about these pioneer families and, you know, the, the portion of their life that contributed to the early development and the history of Polk County. So that is just a very popular opportunity. Mm -hmm. People really like doing that. We meet at the History Center walk just about a mile down to Oak Hill Cemetery, engage with a couple of historic sites along the way, and walk around and learn about pioneer families. And if you get particularly interested in grave sites and cemetery cemeteries and decide you want to help out, our genealogy series is going to be tying right into that. So we're going to be talking about graves and we, preservation. Preservation. Oh, I am so excited about this. So January 30th, I think, is the date that we have for the genealogy series. And Jeff Motes uh, with the Florida Arche Archaeological Network is going to be con conducting again. It's just every time I say this, I think, wow, did we ever think we would be doing this? It's a hybrid program. It'll be both in a Zoom format and we will also present on site at the History Center a program about steps that you can take to preserve cemeteries. Whether you are interested in a particular headstone in a particular cemetery or you're interested in learning about cemetery preservation. And he'll talk about some of the laws of the state of Florida in terms of um, the protection, the preservation of human remains in cemeteries, and then also things, that steps that we can take to preserve cemeteries and cemetery sites. Sounds great. I know I've visited cemeteries in, in quite a few areas, including Savannah, and it's just so much history and, and, and things that you can learn mm -hmm. from them. So speaking of things you can learn, we also have the architectural tour coming up this month. That's going to be on Saturday, January 16th. And what are we featuring this month? <laughs> That is going to be a really fun day. The feature, the architectural feature, of course, will be a tour. That is a tour of the building, the iconic building, that neoclassical architecture. <coughs> this month, we're featuring the dome and the clock. Both those features have so much history about Polk County and Bartow, so that'll be a really fun story to participate in. And also that day, after the tour, stick around. The Tin Can Tourist Association will be back in Bartow with those lovely little whimsical um, teardrop tin can mobile devices that they drive around in and right. stay in. <laughs> Wait, the this is not home. a mobile <laughs> device. This is a mobile home, and they're just precious right. and adorable. And you can actually go in and tour those, the Tin Can Tourist Display, and then in the History Center, we also have a display about Tin Can Tourism and the story, the history about the Dixie Highway that connected Montreal to Miami that allowed tourism to begin to flourish in Florida and throughout the United States. It is such a neat time. I mean, these, they're like small travel trailers <laughs> and they decorate them to the nines. They're all different colors, they're different themes, they're different styles, and they set them all up as if they are actually living there. <laughs> So it's it's really a good time. So um, that's all really exciting. So a couple of the programs are it re require registration or we do ask for registration for the programs that are offered in um, particularly in the Zoom environment because it's important for us to make sure we get the information to you. So um, either contact Preston Petermeyer 
at the History Center who um, oversees the genealogy work, or Jamie Jamison, mm -hmm. who is our curator of education, and she oversees the visitor engagement, the programming. It's going to be an exciting year at the History Center. Um, also going online, people can actually access a huge database now as well. We are really proud of that. And I just learned recently, I'm learning about it, just weekly, more features about it. You can actually go to our website, go to the Past Perfect database, and you just do a random search. And it just randomly searches our collection. And if you land on an image that you find interesting and you want to know more about, you just click on that image and it takes you to it and you learn more about it. It is just a great way to get into our closet and learn about the artifacts that we have that most people can't see. Well, I am super excited about 2021 at the History Center. It's going to be fun. We're going to have more energy. It's going to be a vibrant programming, and we look forward to it. Thank you for joining us. Today. Thank you, too. Polk County has a rich history and heritage, and the Polk County History Center is continuously thinking of new ways to help Polk residents experience that history. The museum's collection includes natural and cultural objects related to Polk and the greater Central Florida area that represent our history from pre-Columbian to present-day eras. The artifacts on display at the museum represent individuals, cultural groups, and events significant to the region. Located at 100 East Main Street in Bartow, the History Center is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. For more information about exhibits and events, you can check them out on the web at polkhistorycenter.org or give them a call at 863-534-4386.